Hello again, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run we're doing another unboxing of one of these plug and play devices again um, and this one is the Ultimate Spider-Man and it's got a built-in touchpad and you've got five games on it so uh, we're going to do an unboxing and then we'll have a look at the uh, five games on this device so let's start with the unboxing Right, let's do the unboxing. I've got my uh, pair of scissors, so we'll do the same thing we did last time and uh, cut around all the lovely edges of these horrible steel plastic boxes that are very hard to open. Um, like so. And this one down here. Uh, nearly done, just the top part here. And we should have it all open so we can get rid of all this crap now. Uh, right there, and now the unit should open up, so we should be able to get into the unit. I just finished taking this bit here. Okay. That's the unit itself open. Right. Okay. So now we've got the unit open. We can actually have a look at it. So first of all, let's have a look at the uh, the box itself. And as you can see, you've got the um five different games to play with the touchpad and uh, we've got the unit itself which is quite big actually and again it's a plug and play so it plugs directly into your television set so first of all let's let's, let's take the box open it up and see what we actually get in the box so you just get a bit of cardboard and that's what I was showing you earlier with the five games on it um, so put that there we've got a instruction manual is pretty crap, quite thin as usual, giving you a bit of the instructions on how to operate the unit going in the different directions and how to operate the bar and that to play the game, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. Next uh, we'll go to the actual unit itself, pull that out, get rid of all the box crap. Right, here's the unit itself, so the the actual touchpad is, well it's, it's quite hard, it's not a very soft feeling thing. It's got a bit of a, uh, a raised surface and then of course you've got the big clip bar there. Um, as you can see we've got a screw fitting there and it's going to take um, batteries. So what we'll do now is we'll just go and uh, go and get some batteries and we'll put them in and then we'll load up the unit from here. Right, we've got the uh, screwdriver now, and it's a Phillips screwdriver, so we'll just open the, the back of this unit up, and uh, it takes four AAA batteries. Now, these batteries aren't included in the unit, so you have to get your own batteries again, of course. So we'll just put the uh, four batteries in. And if you look at that, we've got an on switch there, and then a little LED light to say that there's power to the unit. So uh, now we've got the batteries in, the uh, next thing is we'll uh, wire it up and we'll have a look at some of the games on the unit. So up comes a title screen, TB Touch. Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? We've got a bit of a loading screen coming up. So let's select a game. So we'll push the, the button to start the game. And uh, press the button to continue, 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 continue. Right, and the first game is some sort of like a Tetris game, which is bloody awful actually. Yeah, that's not very good at all. Um, so we want to go to another game. But there seems to be no way of just going to a different game, so I suppose we'll have to just switch it on. Right, we're now going to have a look at another game. That was the uh, Tetris one. That was pretty bloody awful. Um, uh, this is pretty, pretty uh, pathetic uh, kind of controls here. So you can use the control panel to move your character, but it's not that nice. it's not the most responsive. I suppose you can get better at it. So we can do wall climbing and uh, 
kind of a bit trapped already now, so I have no idea what to do with it. Um, Playland. Let's see what that is. Arcade Playland. So we'll go with that one first of all. Okay, so this one's a little bit more easier to control. Um, again, I have no idea what you do. Just beat them up. The controls are definitely not particularly great on. I mean, they work, but not particularly responsive. Oh, I see, you've got a shooting thing, so you can shoot them with your whatever. Oh, look, now we can shoot them through. It's a bit like um, like a Space Invaders, Gall Gallagher type game. Where they've got oh, look, and if you hold it down, you can shoot your red. So, oh, I see, so you can shoot mini bullets or red if you hold it down. Right, let's have a look at the next game because this is really eating into my brain tissues. I definitely feel my brain cells are depleting rapidly playing these games. So let's have a look at another one. So that's three of the games on here and there's five all together. So this one might be a bit more exciting. Let's give this a go. So you can swing and you can jump. I think this game would be a lot more fun if you actually had a joystick to play it. Um, using a touchpad to play this game is really quite painful uh, and not something I would recommend. Uh, it's not very easy to play at all and you tend to stuff up quite badly. Alright, let's go and have a look at one more game. That's number four, so let's have a look at the final game on this vastly superior collection than most others. So let's have a look at the last one on here. I see, see, it's like a shooter this one. In fact, this probably plays the best so far actually. Because you can actually control it a little bit and you can shoot. So, so far, probably out of the, the all of the games, this is probably the best one. Okay, so uh, there's a bit of a look at some of the games on this lovely unit. So let's go and give you my final verdict of this lovely unit. Well there you go, there's a bit of a look at the Ultimate Spider-Man touchpad. Now there are two other um, units in this series, there's a Spongebob uh, touchpad unit and a Star Wars one. And um, after having experienced the Ultimate Spider-Man touchpad, I shall not be reviewing the other two units, as I, all I can say is that this is the biggest piece of crap I've had the mispleasure of reviewing so far. Uh, the touchpad is very unresponsive and very difficult to play any of the games and it really doesn't make it enjoyable at all and I can't even recommend this for very young kids because it would just be frustrating. So overall this is just a piece of shit and not something I would say go look for. Um, anyway, I uh, hope this has been of some interest as usual and thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.